right, welcome back from Basho Commercial Break, and this is Financial Markets. With me, Julius and Subuka. And just recall that Financial Markets comes to you Monday to Friday, uh, 10 to midday. And then we have also the best in Forex with Marcelino Michael Lee coming up at around midday. And well, we are still looking at how the stock market is performing globally and also uh, well, we can see that uh, it's a bit uh, volatile and some are basically losing. Some indices are showing that uh, the stock market is basically losing and also some are, are showing that uh, they are gaining. Most especially in Asia where we see uh, the stock market basically uh, going down. But we have many of them bouncing back. Uh, in spite of the global events happening around, and we can see that, of course, uh, we have now uh, quite some bit of uh, some bit of uh, uh, um, 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 investors. Investors are becoming even more, uh, more and more uh, gaining confidence because of the uh, the U.S. president also coming into. Uh, to give confidence as well. Uh, so basically, uh, looking at uh, how the other stock uh, market indices are also uh, basically faring, one that I look out for most of the time is the Shanghai. The Shanghai Composite Index shows the performance of all the companies listed in mainland China. And uh, well, these, these, stock mark, uh, these uh, companies are basically represented by the Shanghai Composite Index. And so that, now let's just, just have a look at uh, how they are performing. And we can see here that the Shanghai Composite Index shows that um, on average, we had about 10.90, 10.90 increase in the share price, 10.90 points increase in the share price, representing a 0.2% uh, increase in the share price on average of all the publicly listed companies or, um, in, in mainland China. And you can also see that the value now is at 3,462.31. Uh, uh, that's the value at which it is basically right now. So having a look at, uh, at uh, even more, uh, more in the stock market and most especially, and also most especially those in, uh, those in New York, having a look at even those in New York. Well, the global stock market is uh, a very, very, uh, important market because you have a lot and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, money being basically traded every single day in worth billions and billions of dollars uh, every single uh, minute buying and selling buying and selling so which I think is uh, basically going to be uh, something that we are going to be uh, looking at now let's have a look at even more now uh, from the New York uh, Stock Exchange and basically, we hope that uh, in, the next few, in the next few hours, we can see even more updates in the stock market because uh, these figures are basically in the previous uh, few minutes. I'm bringing them to you live, but they are prone to change anytime soon. So keeping a watch on them uh, can be something very important. Probably my... My colleague Shakira can help me actually now go to the next, uh, which is the New York Stock Exchange uh, market and how it is basically performing. So I like to have a look at the New York Stock Exchange Composite Index because it is one that uh, I think it is the most active in the entire world. It is the most active, the most lucrative stock market in the entire world. And we can see here that uh, probably um, when you look at MarketWatch, this is the latest 
these are the latest figures and uh, some of my best performing some of my best are basically just right here including the Dow Jones S&P 500 uh, the Nasdaq the global Dow and the gold oil commodities and so you have these figures changing at all times and they're right here with me so let's have a look at uh, probably if you have a look at the Dow Jones over here the Dow Jones uh, in the United States is showing that it has basically had an increase in the value of the uh, of the shares traded the Dow Jones is basically uh, an index that represents about 30 30 best performing stocks in the United States and is termed as if you want to really play in the big leagues and probably if you want to uh, to play in the 30 biggest the 30 biggest uh, stock publicly listed companies on the New York Stock Exchange or probably in in the US you actually have to follow up with the Dow Jones index because it represents the 30 uh, big biggest uh, companies publicly listed the kinds of the Amazon the kinds of Microsoft and the kinds of uh, the kinds of uh, Apple uh, Tesla you can think of Blue Origin you can think of uh, uh, Walmart you can think of all those companies for um, including even uh, uh, some 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 Asian companies uh, Alibaba and also Aramco including others so the Dow Jones uh, basically rose, rose by about 300 834.92 points and it's basically we can say it's up that represents about 2.51 percent increase in the uh, in the share price which brings it to a value of about 34,000 and 58.75 which is quite something over there so the the Dow Jones is showing that there's an increase in the value of the stock uh, and which is uh, something to note the S&P 500 is one of the most respected uh, indices by investors because it shows about the it shows the best 500 publicly listed companies that's the S&P 500. So it is showing that probably you had about, they had about 95.95 increase in the value of their shares. 95.95 points up. And that represents about 2.24%. Bringing it to a value of about 4,384.65. The S&P 500 represents 500 best performing uh, publicly listed stocks and it is the most respected uh, index in the United States, including the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq as well. So having a look at the Nasdaq as well, I think the Nasdaq is also a very important one and uh, it has a couple of companies as well uh, listed. So, so, so Nasdaq itself lists uh, companies and we can see that Nasdaq is reporting uh, that on average you have about companies in that index gaining by about 221.04 points representing 1.46% increase in the value of the stock and also about bring it to a value of about 13,694.62 that is the Nasdaq so the global Joe as well the global Joe Dow Jones the global Dow Jones is also basically also showing now this is very important it's basically changing there but uh, of course these are live right now as I bring them to you so the globe the global Dow Jones is basically representing company the best companies all across the globe so it's an index uh, by the Dow Jones that is having an outlook on the performance of the uh, global uh, of the of the global 
uh, stock market. It is showing that uh, uh, it is changing by about, it's going down by about 25.83 points right now, as I'm speaking right now, but it's now changed to 25.62. So it's basically around that, we must say. And uh, that thus representing about 0.6, 0.61% uh, around that figure as we speak right now. And thus, bring it to a value of about 4,048.12. Uh, That's the value of the stock there. So it's changing all the time, as you can see over there. And the commodities like gold and oil, well, that is also very important to note there that, uh, well, you have commodities like gold and oil also uh, basically on the market, and you can see that uh, gold gained by about 11.10 points, uh, thus representing about 0 0.51 uh, or probably 0 0.6 around there percent in the value of gold, bringing it to about 1,899.50 uh, uh, US dollars. And well, having a look at oil as well, you can see oil that it is basically um, oil is gaining by about 3.7 points as I speak right now. But that figure is changing anytime soon because these figures are basically always updating. And uh, as you can see, they're changing right now. But we can say about 3.71 points. Oil is up about now it's up about 3.69 points, uh, representing a 4.03 percentage gain. Uh, and bring it to a value of, of about 90, 95.25 US dollars. So you can see that, uh, that, that the global dollar is the only one basically showing that uh, you have a negative, um, a negative performance of the stock market globally. But, uh, well, other... Uh, stock market indices are showing that probably there is a gain. There, there is a gain. So we must say that the global stock market, you know, as a representation of the general stock market globally, of course, is, it should be by, uh, by far a lesser uh, figure. But, but by all means in the U.S., you can see that uh, there are not so many concerns by investors the stock market is continuing to basically bounce back since investors last uh, week were a bit skeptical about the future. But you can see the stock market now bouncing back. Well, having more even uh, up, uh, as you can see, uh, the New York Stock Exchange Composite Index. So the New York Stock Exchange Composite Index uh, represents is a representation of all the stocks listed on the New York Stock Exchange. So it basically gives us an average performance of all the stocks listed on the New York Stock Exchange. And it is showing that it is up by about 431.96 points, representing a 2.7% increase, bringing it to a value of about 16,427.96. US dollars per share. And that is uh, the general representation over there. And well, um, well, going down, going down probably, the graph probably has been like this uh, since uh, 10, since uh, in the past, in the past few um, hours. So it's basically gone up from about 16,000 and about 100. 16,100 up to about 16,427, uh, which has made it basically gain that kind of, uh, that kind of uh, value. So you can see that the graph is showing that there is basically some bit of uh, uh, a general upward progression in the performance of the stocks that are basically listed on the New York Stock Exchange. 
And then probably if you basically are keen enough to, to notice that, uh, well, the U.S. companies are basically performing even much more better. And uh, the U.S. dollar is even right now performing uh, much better against other currencies. And probably, um, well, the, we must say that uh, it is uh, America benefiting from the war or basically or not. So is, it benefit, is, is America benefiting from the, from the uh, Russia-Ukraine invasion? So that is something that basically we may have to uh, look at. So going up again, going up again, going up again, as we're also going to be looking at uh, other key indices, other key indices uh, regarding the other key indices, also globally in Europe, in Asia, apart from the overview that probably we gave in the past, in the first uh, 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 part, in the first segment. So going up a bit, probably Shakira can help me do that. Um, we are going to be having a look at even more. Yes, so you can see over here that um, you can see over here that probably uh, key data shows that you have in the past five days, you can see that the stock exchange has gained by about 0.22%. And in the past one month, probably you can see that the stock market has gained by about 0.18%. And three months, probably, go probably it was down by 1.18%. And of course, uh, uh, probably in one year, probably you can see that uh, uh, it basically was at 9.44% increase. So it was basically gaining one year ago. But n now let's have a look at uh, even more. Probably we can basically go up a bit and get to the Asia and Europe segments. Shakira can help me do that. And uh, well, so it is very important to note that uh, that is uh, a general overview of the New York Stock Exchange uh, market. Uh, as probably you may see that most of them are basically performing uh, quite very well. So when you look at Europe over here, probably we can have a look at the European uh, stock uh, market uh, just right here. So having a look right now as we speak, it seems a very interesting, uh, this is a live, this is a live uh, this is live right now as we speak, and we can see that, uh, well, there is something very interesting here. All stocks in Europe, many of them are down, and this is because of the war. This is because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and a lot going on there. So investors are becoming even more, uh, you know, more concerned about the war, and that's why we can see a negative, a kind of a negative uh, 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 return on uh, these kinds of stocks. So having a look at the Financial Times Stock Exchange 100, which represents about the best 100 performing companies in Europe, it's showing that probably you have about, this is in England, sorry, it's showing that it has lost by about 71.61 points, about 71 to about 69 points. So thus bringing it to about 0.92% loss in the value of the stocks right there. Bringing it to about 7,420 point, uh, over 7,000, over, over 7,000 uh, uh, pounds, we must say. So it is basically important to note that uh, they are all in negatives. And the DAX as well, as you can see over there from Germany, well, it is also... Uh, down by about, by over 200, by over 200 points, thus representing about 1.95% uh, loss in the value of the stocks right there. And the value is bringing it to a value of about 4, 
1.39 as we speak right now. But the values are changing now and then. But one thing we can note is that the stocks in Europe, as we speak right now, they are all down. And this is a very good representation of what is happening there. Because these indices are basically very, very much important to note. They are very important measures of the performance of the uh, stock market. So we have them all losing, as you can see over here. So let's have a look at uh, basically those in uh, Europe. Those in Europe over here are also, sorry, those in Asia. Those in Asia, we can have a look at them as well because, uh, well, Asia and Europe are more probably uh, very much interconnected. And we may want to also see how the stock market is performing there. So the Asia Dow, the Asia Dow is basically the Dow Jones uh, Asia, Asian Index. And it is showing, surprisingly, that in Asia you have about, uh, the Dow Jones is showing that in Asia, uh, the stock is basically gaining by about over four points. Uh, that is a representation of about 0.1%, bringing it to about 3,578. That's the value of the stocks in Asia using the Asian Dow Jones Index. So the Nikkei 225, as we have seen already, uh, it basically uh, gained by about 50, over 50 points, and thus uh, being a representation of about 0.19%, bringing it to a value of about 26,526.82. And that's the value of the Nikkei 225. The Nikkei, as we said, is the, basically the main index in Japan, representing about 225 best performing publicly listed companies. And you can see there that uh, it's up. It's basically up and performing uh, quite normally. The Hang Seng, as we speak right now in Hong Kong, is uh, basically losing. Yes, a few moments ago it was basically gaining, but now it's losing by about 54 uh, points, uh, bringing it to about 0.2% loss in the value of the stocks. Bringing that to a value of about 22,713.02 in Japanese currency. So you can see that, uh, well, the Hang Seng, sorry, in the, uh, in, this is uh, basically uh, in the uh, Chinese money. So Hang Seng is basically losing by about 54.16. Very interesting. Then Shanghai, in Shanghai mainland China, the value of the stocks over there, the Shanghai index is showing that probably you have companies over there gaining by about 10.90 on average, 10.90 points and losing, uh, that's thus uh, representing about 0.2% gain in the value of the stocks, bringing it to a value of about 3,462.31. That is the Shanghai which I think is a, a very important uh, index as well, because in China, mainland China, it is uh, also a very, is considered one of the best indices, basically to look out in mainland China. The other stock probably that, that we may have to look at, the other index that we may have to look at is the Singapore index. Remember, Singapore is one of those countries in uh, in uh, Asia that have basically uh, risen up from poverty in the past 50 years and we have seen drastic overnight success and thus that's for a number of reasons and uh, a few other issues here and there that probably made it to be uh, one of the best. Uh, in fact, it's an island that is one of the most developed in the world and also very much sustainable cities. But right now, as we can see, uh, the stock companies listed in Singapore are basically losing by over about 56 points, and thus representing, thus, and, and, uh, thus representing about 1.7% uh, 
uh, percent uh, loss in the value of the stocks there and bring it to a value of about 3,236.98. That's for the Singapore, the, the, the Singaporean currency. So you can see that uh, in Singapore and Hang Seng, the Hong Kong stock markets, the, the Hong Kong stock market and the Singapore stock market are the losers right now as we speak uh, in, the, uh, in Asia. But this is a representation of basically uh, the general stock market. Basically, it's, a, it's an average. And most, most of the time, an average it, you know, gives us an overview, but not an individual uh, analysis of each and every stock and how it's performed. Of course, you have gainers and losers, but only means that more of them are losing than they are gaining. And so, on average, that's why we can see that the Hang Seng and the Singapore have lost, while the Asia Do, the Nikkei uh, 225 in Japan, the Shanghai in mainland China are all basically uh, gaining as we speak right now. Let's go for a virtual commercial break. We're going to be right back with lots and lots more of a bit of uh, a watch on the stock market all across the globe. <laughs> 